that I've always been envious of girls who are friends with each other, you know, girls who have lots of friends. When you are alone, you figure out a lot of things that you've never really known about yourself. When you're just completely alone with no friends, I feel like there's a certain breakthrough that you probably never had. Am I worthy of having friends? Don't ever let having no friends to stop you from living your best life. Whoa. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That was a really bad intro. Anyways, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So for this journal entry, episode eight, we're going to be talking about why having no friends is completely okay. So you may be like, yeah, why are you talking about this? I'm kind of shocked that I haven't talked about because as you guys can see, I do a lot of things by myself. I've always had trouble keeping friends long-term. This can go into a lot of issues of mine. And as a kid, I've always been extremely insecure because I didn't have, you know, a lot of friends. I had like really low self-esteem. Ever since as a kid, I did everything by myself, but it was always kind of like I had to. I didn't really learn to enjoy doing things by myself. As a kid, I've always been envious of girls who are friends with each other, you know, girls who have lots of friends. And I always wanted to be like that. But as I got older, I realized how having no friends is really okay. It really is. When you are alone, you figure out a lot of things that you've never really known about yourself because sometimes when you're in a group setting, a lot of us tend to just like go with the flow. You go with what your friends want. I want to do this because I just want to enjoy their company, which is completely fine, but you don't realize what you want. You like this activity because you guys are doing it together, right? You have your friend's company. You like their company, so hence you like this activity. That doesn't mean you like this activity. When you have no friends to hang out with, all you have is yourself. So you really try to do things that you enjoy, right? It's very obvious, like, you know, we, we all want friends. So it's very, very normal to feel lonely. Because sometimes I feel like when we feel lonely, it's like you feel bad about it. You're like, I can't believe I feel lonely. But you need to understand that is very very normal it is normal to feel lonely it is normal to want company from people instead of pushing the thought away i tell myself that this is normal i'm a human being i should want to socialize with people friendships can also make you feel lonely just because you're in a group of people doesn't mean that you would feel included right sometimes you're in a group of people and you feel like an outcast you just feel like oh my god like i i feel like nobody here really gives two shits about me like i should i'm just here just to be here i just want the company of others even though i'm not really enjoying their company so would you rather be feeling lonely by yourself or feeling lonely in a group personally i would rather feel lonely by myself like what's the point of hanging out with people if you feel lonely when you're with friends you can become so fixated on them you can become so focused on them that you don't really care about what you want you don't care about the goals you have because some of us just want Want to hold on to that some want to hold on to these friends because you just feel you've been alone for so long what if they leave me what if they leave me for someone else what if i'm not good enough and i don't blame you because you know we all want friends sometimes you might even lose your passions and your goals you might set that aside it's like a thing that you don't even realize and that is not to say like this is the friend's fault it's our fault i'm not encouraging you to find some of that old friend when you're just completely alone with no friends i feel like there's a certain breakthrough that you probably never had i mean of course it's it gets dark sometimes but also it can be a breakthrough you realize how capable you are to do absolutely everything by yourself and once you have this mindset even when you get back into friend groups you will still have this mindset i personally don't think it can be taken away once you have this breakthrough when you have no friends you realize that i have to do everything by myself sometimes these things is just like you have to just do it you have so much fear you're like oh my god i cannot do this i have to do this with someone else but you can Literally. Sometimes we just overthink, but the thing is that when we think so much about it, it's a waste of energy. It's literally a waste of energy to be anxious about it 24-7. Just do it. Because trust me, when you actually do the thing, it's not as scary as you think. I feel like sometimes when you just have no friends, sometimes you try to prove yourself. Am I worthy of having friends? And then you start doing things to make yourself feel worthy. I, I need to better myself to feel I'm worthy for friends. But the thing is that you are worthy of friends. You can create a better version of yourself, but make sure that you're creating it for the right reasons. You're creating it for yourself. Not to prove to anyone that you are worthy of friends because you you are. I, I had this negative mindset where I feel like, oh, I don't deserve friends because I have mental issues. Friendship breaks up. I, I blame it all on myself. I'm like, oh, this is my fault. This is my fault. I was the one who called it off. I'm the one who, who left. For a friendship to work, there needs to be both parties, right? I sometimes need to remind myself that they also didn't do anything to fix the friendship. I tell myself that just because I am mentally ill doesn't mean that I don't deserve friendships. And this was something that I felt like almost as if I'm punishing myself. But what I came to realize is that I am trying to better myself. And I feel like that 
counts for something. If you feel like, oh my god, I feel so alone. I have no friends. Like, I must be such a loser. But the thing is that you cannot force it. Just because you have friends doesn't mean that you're you're less worthy compared to other people who do. And I'm also not saying that like, oh, we should look down on people who have friends. Because there are friendships that are extremely beautiful. Healthy, healthy friendships, you know, supporting one another. Some of us just haven't found the right people. And I want you guys to stay hopeful. Really, genuinely. It's so easy to just be like, that's their fault, it's their fault, it's their fault. Sometimes it is. But sometimes you realize maybe I'm the problem. It speeds up your self-growth when you realize that there's a problem within you because we're human we all have problems don't shame yourself don't try to close yourself off just because you don't have friends now doesn't mean that you're not gonna have friends in the future right there's a lot of people who are dealing with this especially i feel in your early 20s it's not talked about enough once you realize how capable you are when you are alone it's almost like a superpower and how your happiness can come from just within yourself you don't need anyone to complete you yes it can help it can make you happier but you can get all the happiness you want from within yourself you can spread happiness when you are happy if you are unhappy how the hell can you spread happiness and I'm not saying that you, know, you have to spread happiness to others. It can make a, a, an interaction more joyful. And you can realize how when you are happy, you attract more people. It's like I tend to get insecure and sometimes like I, I project. I sometimes just think that, oh, just because I'm insecure about so-and-so, they probably think that of me, which is really toxic. And it goes to show you this because I'm insecure. But if I was happy, if I was confident, this interaction that I have with another person would be great. I wouldn't be so self-conscious. I, I wouldn't think about like, oh my God, what did I think about you? Like, what? Like, are they thinking negative for you? I wouldn't think that because I'm confident and I'm feeling good, which is why I believe that you need to achieve your happiness. You can achieve all the happiness with yourself. Say you want to go sit by the beach, go sit by the beach. And when you do these things, that builds up your confidence. And when you build up your confidence, you realize how you can do almost everything by yourself. And I'm not saying that you're doing all of this to just, you know, attract people, but you're becoming happier. And at the same time, you're attracting people. So it's like a win-win. Why not? I'm not trying to be like, oh, you can do everything by yourself. So you don't need other people. I'm saying that don't close yourself off to people. I want you guys to enjoy your alone time. But when people come, you can be the judge of that, who you want to let in. Slowly get to know them. Don't get attached to fast don't build this image of them of who they're gonna be and don't feel like oh my god if i don't give my all they're not gonna see and so be it they're not right for you slowly get to know them and be patient they'll slowly show you who they are and then get to decide whether you want to continue pursuing the friendship i feel like i have been more open to people yeah i have been able to meet a lot of good people good friends this year when i hang out with friends that i like it's like i genuinely enjoy it like i genuinely go back home like i really enjoy that interaction which i'm really proud to say because like back then i sometimes go get home from interaction with like friends and it just it feels awful however i still at the same time enjoy my alone time as well because there's something different when you hang out by yourself but it's also amazing when you can hang out with really good friends you need to make sure that you don't lose your sense of identity when you hang out with people i mean of course your identity can always change but just hold on what feels true to you hold on to yourself no matter who you hang out with it took me to lose a friendship to understand who i was and i'm not saying like oh my god i cut off that friendship in order to figure out who i am and when that friendship ended i realized how much things i wanted to do that i never realized i wanted to do before because i was just fixated on them ever since then i know what i want and i have goals i know what i like and i know what i don't like and this all happened because I was alone for so long. I do a lot of things by myself a lot, which you guys can clearly tell from the content of this channel. Life can be very lonely. Something that makes it more bearable is just finding things that you like doing. Life is worth living with kind people and sometimes it can just take a little tiny thing to make your day really really great it's normal to feel lonely and feel like you have no one to talk to but don't let that stop you from living don't ever let having no friends to stop you from living your best life okay because your life does not depend on others you have yourself and that is more than enough all you need to do is believe in yourself and when you realize how much you can achieve when you are alone you become unstoppable and i'm not lying with that i'm really not the reason why you'll be unstoppable is because the things that you want to do no one can stop you the only person that can stop you is yourself so when you realize that i'm not going to become my own obstacle and you go achieve that you can do it just because you have no friends doesn't mean that you can't achieve your dreams you might be oh my god whatever has certain issues that are preventing me from making friends that's why self-reflection is very important going to therapy journaling self-growth is very important when you have these issues you you want to get better Yeah, um, that's the end of my journal entry episode 8, why having no friends is completely okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this journal entry. I'm, I'm really happy to be able to talk about this. I guess I wish someone had told me this, maybe when I was younger. Um, 
which is why I'm making this video. Trust me, you'll find good people along the way. But as of now, better yourself and do what makes you happy, okay? Okay, anyways, I will see you guys all very, very soon. And I hope you guys will have a lovely rest of your morning, afternoon, or night, okay? Okay, bye.